Welcome to the Ghana Art Family. Thanks for tuning in. So, I'm going to be speaking about how to make a drawing dynamic or what makes a drawing dynamic or how to spice up your drawing to look more, you know, dynamic. So, right here we're on a, a, a 3D modeling software. And so, as you can see, this is a, uh, this is a, a circle, right? Besides the uh, the shadow, the the gradient, which makes it look look uh, non-flat, this isn't uh as you know as dynamic, you know. So how do we go about it making it look dynamic? So the main point of making a, an object just looking dynamic is you know having it having the camera look at it from the side or making it look you know like have a, a angle at whatever object that you're looking at as opposed to having it look you know straight up uh, you know right there in your face Stay straight up like strict and straight you know and so to make it look uh, non uh, you know to make it look dynamic or so we would use a, uh, a rotation tool on the object there okay so we have I selected the rotation tool and so this is the rotation tool. We have an axis. We're provided with an axis, right? And so this axis goes, you know, up and then it goes sideways. Now, how would, how do we uh, make it seem that we uh, were looking at it from the side view? Well, easily we would just rotate the uh, the camera from where we're, we're looking at the object. And so we're going to like, I'm going to uh, rotate the uh, object, okay? Just hold up. I haven't used this software in a while. Um, okay. <laughs> so we're going to rotate the object, okay? And we're going to go back to the sphere. Um, and so the, this sphere here is... Um, now we can see that uh, it has a much more three-dimensional shape to it, you know? So right here, this is like straight up you know flat flat faced in a, in a sense but as we s begin to uh, rotate this spear we, we begin to see it you know see the camera angle where like at the camera angle is like pointing at the side of it so it's making it look dynamic okay so we can like play with it a little bit we can go up more and we can see this line here and then we could like you know continue to like move the camera to the uh, the right and as we move the camera to the right this red line here is getting shorter and shorter okay getting shorter and shorter so now we can use this uh, method to apply this to our um, artwork to make our um, our drawings look uh, a lot more dynamic and interesting and it doesn't always have to look dynamic. It depends on what you're trying to convey when you're making the artwork, you know? So, to bring a uh, example here. Now, we have, uh, these are like Google images, okay? These are like Google images of different uh, portraits. Now, this, now this drawing here is very, uh, you know, is very uh, straightforward. You know, there's nothing dynamic really going on here, besides the the gradients and the in the, the shadows. You know, pretending even though this is a photo, pretending this is a uh, a drawing. This is a really good drawing. Just pretending it's, it's a drawing. It has lights and the shadows. It's a good painting, etc. But the the figure isn't doing anything dynamic. It's just you know straight up. You know, it's straight up in our face, you know, and likewise for for uh, this, you know, straight up in our face. And that's Walter Wright. You know, there are a lot of uh, these uh, straight up in our face uh, uh, drawings and they're not necessarily flat because, you know, we have the gradients and shadow. But to make it look more dynamic, we got to add the uh, the camera twist, the camera turn, you know. And so, likewise for this, how we turn the camera here. Yeah, how we turn the camera to the side to make this look more dynamic. We do the same thing for 
the portraits that we have or whatever we're doing so this is a, a flat face well not it's not flat but you know you get what I mean it's very straight faced and as we uh, as we move on we have like a we have photos like this you know this isn't exactly you know straight straight up but we can see that the camera is rotating at the side you know and the line here the line that we see here would be in comparison to the 3d modeling red line that we see so it's so the camera angle is tilting and this is what makes the uh, the thing or the the item the visually a pleasing this is what makes it look uh, more dynamic you see and uh, even like very slight movement you know so this this would be like this would be counted as dynamic this would be uh, slightly counted as dynamic sure it's like a sure it's like flat fit is not flat but sure it's, it's looking straight at us okay she's looking straight at us however her health her head is tilted at like the side so there's some there's some action going on there you know as opposed to uh, this person who's just looking straight at us and so to move on we're going to uh, I'm gonna show you guys some some Jojo poses okay so we're at the Jojo poses now we can see how how much the uh, the camera angle is being played at each individual uh, body part okay so we're gonna come here okay so now we can see this is what makes a Jojo pose look uh, dynamic most of the times is due to the, the the camera angle that that's uh, chosen for each individual uh, body shape okay for each individual body part so for example this you know we can see that this face here this uh, again could be in comparison to this red thing the the, the face here is like uh, is being is slightly tilted you know and then we have this torso this is also slightly tilted you know it's not like a, a straight line like you you'll see all these uh, slightly tilted movements in these Jojo poses okay and uh, as we come here now besides this being a drawing and whatnot what makes this a lot more although they're they're doing the same the similar pose they're doing the same pose there's a there's a slight more dynamicness to this drawing okay so uh, the reason why this is you know a slight slightly more dynamic than this uh, photo here is you know although we have the camera moving you know at the side for, for this uh, this torso and this torso it's all matching perfectly however what makes it more dynamic is just simply that her face is looking straight forward you know like most of the Jojo's drawing the this uh, body part there there's always a slight tilt of dynamicness in each body part you know this uh, drawing she's just looking straight at us you know however her body is tilted however for this person uh, the entire body it has a, a tilt to it this isn't like a straight a straight face you know this isn't a straight face this is like slightly uh, turned around compared to this being you know straight up you know so that's what makes uh, this uh, piece a lot more dynamic you know and to be consciously aware of this you can use this to your advantage when you're drawing your action scenes or etc so this is a drawing that I made and so as you can see the uh, the angle here you know it's not like straight up you know I'm I'm kind of I'm tilting the angle like the cameras moving to the right so this is moving all the way like right here similar to similar to this 3d model okay so as I move the camera to the right this the red mark here keeps getting less and less like it starts to become less visible you know and this part starts to uh, grow more 
you know, depending on whatever side you want to get into, you know. And so I'm avoiding this, you know, I'm avoiding this, uh, the straight, the straight face, the uh, drawing, you know, and making it switch to the side like that. So that's pretty much the, the basis of it. And so you can see it, uh, being like slightly turned here, you know, the camera angle and a camera angle slightly just a little bit not too much with the face uh, and as we like continue on you can see the uh, the camera angle again is is like being slightly tilted here just to make it look a lot more dynamic as opposed to something that's like straight faced you know this right here you know everything is like being tilted you know this part this part right here, this, etc. Okay, so this is a uh, old page. Okay, and this is uh, I redid this page, so it is a, a old page. Okay, you can see that uh, you know this part. This part looks a lot more flat. Okay, now how how would we uh, you know change this part from looking like you know you know straightforward and whatnot? We uh we would just simply like change a camera angle, and but of course you know we have the uh, the camera is kind of like slanted at the side here, so it, it's a little bit dynamic. But however, to make it look you know ten times more dynamic, you would just have a uh, like have this character also rotating at the side somewhere. You know you don't want it looking all like flat. And so since this is an old page, like uh my anatomy and uh, my understanding in page flow got a lot better so I redid this page here and the, re the redid page you'll see right here okay so this is the redid this is a redone page okay so you'll see that uh, I'm avoiding sometimes the uh, the uh, the straightforwardness you know I'm always there's always like it's always interesting to have it go at an angle you know, there's always uh, an, an angle in most of the uh, the panels. Sometimes, sometimes I do. Uh, sometimes, sometimes I just do like sometimes straight up flat. Well, not flat, but you know, just straight up frontal face drawings. It depends on the instance uh, as to what's going on in the panel. You know, but generally, to make something more interesting, you may want to you know have the camera just slightly tilting. You know, exaggerated a, a little bit, and so uh, some uh, some sites I like to to use to practice some uh, drawing or getting used to you know dynamicness is a quick pose dot quick poses dot Here you can set up your custom you know your custom uh, time limit and whatnot. And this is this isn't a sponsorship. I actually do use this site like a lot of the time. So you can like set the time up to whatever you want to do. This could also be used for uh, building your speed and join. So you can see that uh, there's there are some dynamic actions going on here. You know, you can say that this is a JoJo reference. And so this right here, this part, these this axis, this is called yeah, this is called the axis. Okay, uh, this is very you know straight face. This is similar to the uh, th the three D modeling uh, sphere that we saw in the. Uh, in the, the software that I showed previously and so as we as I said as we like rotate the camera this this starts to uh, form okay so uh, you know this starts to come right here so if we wanted to rotate the camera over here we would have uh, this axis going here and this axis going here and so the camera for this part would be somewhere around here okay it would be viewing this part section right here and the camera would be somewhere around here viewing this section and so for this you know we we see this very uh, uh straight faced uh this this straight faced uh, mannequin and so to spice this up to look a bit more dynamic is uh now we're going to just uh draw the mannequin you know 
Okay, so this the axis would be rotating right here. Okay, this face would be rotating here. This face's axis would be rotating here. Uh, this would be right here. This would be right here, etc. You know, you just want to get the idea of you know rotating your camera, and so that's the basis of it, and that's the basis of uh, drawing a dynamic object. Uh, I'll do a video uh, specifically on the mannequin and whatnot, proportions and, you know, various other things. So, yeah, if you enjoyed it, you know, comment, like, etc. And that will be the video. Peace out.